Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy, Greg. And in this video, we are going to go over using multiple screens and proclaim or virtual screens, however you want to view it. So um, in my use case, what I'm using this for is to show different content from what's being displayed on our LED wall. So let's just dive into it and I'll show you how to get that done. So you want to come over here to settings click display, then you want to add a virtual screen. Um, in this case, I'm not going to add it, but what you would do is you would just click virtual screen. Let's just run through it. And then this is going to pop up, it says alternate content, whatever. Click the little cog wheel. Let's just name it LT3. This is not the one I'm going to use. Um, in my case, I've already done this, but I have it set for lower thirds. And then you come over to your outputs. And if you look um, from the last video, you have your dongles. I have two different dongles. Uh, you could do this as an NDI source, but that's not how I'm running this setup. And then so what you're going to do is you just want to send it to a location. So I know that this one is already set to my switcher out. OK. I named it. I didn't name this one, but this one is my slides. This is for my LED wall. So then what you want to do is just simply come back into Proclaim uh, your edit menu and then do whatever it is that you want to do. So I'll show you how I actually use it. So I just want to come over here, uh, get our church logo and let's just drag it into the service, all right? Because we're prepping for service, right? So let's just name this Apostle. Oh, come on. Boom. And then as you see right here, so this is your main. So this would be what comes up on my LED wall slides. It's telling you what it is. Next one is for lower third. So remember, I just named it. OK, so then what you do is you have it at duplicate, right? Then you come to backgrounds and then you import or browse media. In my case, I'm a browse media because it's already in there. And then let's click on group upload, scroll down to find his lower third that I created. So right there, Apostle Fred Gooden. And then I just want to apply a smart media and watch this. Boom, it is switched out and it's ready to go. So then test everything. So if it's looking like this, this is a transparent background. It's his name there. That's our church logo. I have it set like this where I have something alternate because it's running to our video switcher. I don't want to click on. Um, I don't want our big logo to come up across his face when he's up preaching. So and I want to keep the same graphic representation on our LED wall. So you click that preview button, click on air, click on apostle. And if you look right here, focus my camera. If you look right here on our LED wall, there is our church logo. And then if you look at over here at OBS, there is the lower third that I just created there. Don't judge me. I'm a simple graphic designer. Um, we also have it running through our ATEM software. That's another lesson on how to do that. But I just wanted to help you. Um, maybe you aren't running it for lower thirds. Maybe you'll be running, I don't know, something else to one of your screens here. See, we got our multi view out from our switcher. OK, and then we have our stream computer here, which that's why I ran the lower third like I did. Listen, I hope this video has been helpful. Hope it was super simple and clean. Um, if you have any questions, please drop a comment below. Listen, if this video was helpful, please like, share, subscribe, share with your church, share with a friend, share with someone that needs it. It's your boy Greg and I'm out.